Tim, the FBI and Department of Homeland Security warning of threats to law enforcement after a search of former President Trump's Florida home last week. Eamon Javers joins us now with more. Hi, Eamon. Good morning, Mike. Well, it's that ferocious reaction we've seen on the political right to the search by the FBI of the former president's home that sparked this uptick in threats. Here's what we know as of right now. Over the weekend, we saw this new notice being posted by federal law enforcement. FBI and DHS issued an intelligence bulletin warning of this spike in threats against federal law enforcement officials. The Secret Service itself responding by hardening field offices and encouraging vigilance on the part of Secret Service agents, particularly in high-profile locations such as the White House. Uh, we also saw this reaction over the weekend. Cincinnati FBI attacker Ricky Schiffer, he appears to have recently posted online about his desire to kill FBI agents. So this all appears to be part and parcel of the same dynamic that's happening out there in the country. Over the weekend, of course, we saw the political fallout continue as well. Senator Amy Klobuchar on Meet the Press over the weekend, a Democrat, saying that it's tough to react to this because you just don't know what's in the documents that the FBI found in former President Trump's home. But she said certain things are clear. Here's what she said. But what we do know is it rose to the level of a search warrant uh, that a federal judge approved. And we do know that they were searching for uh, classified material, things that fell under one of the statues they used in that search warrant was the Espionage Act. Now, Senator Mike Rounds of South Dakota also on Meet the Press over the weekend, a Republican reacting to this. He said his instinct here is not necessarily to reflexively criticize the FBI, but he does have some questions. Take a listen. I think it's very important long term for the Justice Department, now that they've done this, that they show that this was not just a fishing expedition, that they had that they had due cause to go in and to do this, that they did exhaust all other means. And if they can't do that, then we've got a serious problem on our hands. So, guys, what we know at this point is that the, the, the Department of Justice and the FBI are investigating here. They're investigating former Trump using Espionage Act statutes uh, to, to justify what they're going after here. But what we don't know is what's in these documents, right? So that's going to be the central question in all of this. And it might be some time before we get the answers, because ultimately, in normal course of, of action, the Department of Justice wouldn't really explain much more about anything like this until they make a decision to charge or not charge. If they charge, if they indict the former president, then you get an indictment, which spells out all the details of what they know. If not, you get nothing, because there's a presumption of innocence. The Department of Justice has decided not to move forward with an indictment and they move on. So there's two scenarios here. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. It could be weeks before we know the final answer, guys. Back over to you. Yeah.